Hi guys and welcome to another Watch Geek video. Now, if you follow my channel, you will know this watch. It's the Wise 88 or in this variant 8820. And it was the first Wise I actually bought for myself. Now, when I was getting this watch and when I was doing a review, which I'll put the link somewhere in the corner of the screen, I mentioned that Wise was developing a stainless steel bracelet for this watch. This is a 904L steel watch and they were developing the bracelet. And now that bracelet has arrived in time when I was receiving together with this uh, Wise ADX GMT that I got. Another watch that I uh, plan on keeping for myself. So we're gonna see which one of these stays and which one of these goes, maybe they'll both stay. The ADX bracelet really blew me away. It's wonderful, it's beautifully made, and it's also a 904L steel. But as you have seen in the unboxing of this watch, they also sent the bracelet for the AD8. And wise being wise, being very careful about every single detail of a product they develop. It comes vacuum sealed, it comes with additional links, it comes with the tools, the screwdriver for sizing the bracelet, and something very unique, it comes with glue, with a little vial for the, with a thread locker for the screws. They also mention here that you get the upgraded clasp, which is the same one found on the ADX, and I love it because you get the on-the-fly adjustment with a little spring, as you can see, it's spring-loaded, so you can push it in without opening the clasp, but when you wanna uh, extend it, you have to pull it like this and then just pull it out. It works really well and the whole bracelet on this piece is wonderful so we're gonna check out this uh, bracelet. Now like I said wise being wise having all the details done one particular detail that I noticed on the ADX bracelet is this caution right here. You see they assemble the bracelet but they don't tighten the screws. The screws are actually pretty loose so once you start sizing the bracelet they start unscrewing right away which is a brilliant thing because I've had more than a few watches where the screws come really tight from the factory and then by the time I unscrew them or loosen the, the screws, they're already mangled. With this one, you won't have the same problem because like I said, they're pretty loose as soon as you start unscrewing, it's great. But that's why they put this caution because once you size it, you have to tighten all the screws because they're pretty loose. But I love the way they think and the way they deliver their products. So let's open this vacuum sealed package. We're gonna assemble this bracelet or put it on the watch to see if it transforms the 88. Now, these bracelets are, I, I believe, $150 which is quite a steep price, but given the construction, solid links, solid end links, quick release pins, on the fly adjustments, uh, uh, screws held, I uh, mean links held with screws, it is actually a decent price. Now naturally, when you buy a watch and if it comes with a bracelet option, you know that I always say on my channel, always get the watch with the bracelet at, from the factory because getting a replacement strap is much cheaper than getting a replacement bracelet, which $150 for this clearly shows. Unfortunately, when I was getting this watch, the bracelet was still not ready. It was in development. It wasn't available to order with this watch. So if you already own the 88, this is gonna cost you $150 minus the discount if you buy something else. But if you haven't bought an 88, yet my advice is to always get it with a bracelet because the price difference between a strap version and a bracelet version is very minute compared to the price of the bracelet itself okay so let's now unpack the bracelet put it on the on the on the on the watch and see how it looks okay and here it is the 88 on its proprietary 904 l steel bracelet now i did the assembly off camera because i don't want to scratch the case but one thing to note is that wise uses extra large uh, pins for the quick release system so grabbing these with your fingernails and putting it into the case is much easier than on some other uh, quick release pins that have really small these heads these heads are really big and easy to grip as you can see the bracelet perfectly complements the watch it is slightly reversed to this one. The ADX comes with male end links, but ones that are really well designed because they don't extend the lug to lug of the watch. Whereas the 88 comes with a female end link. And as you can see, that also doesn't extend the lug to lug of the watch. 
Another difference is where the ADX comes with brushed sides, I mean brushed outer links and polished inner rings. This one has them reversed. So here the polished ones are on the side and this big center one is the one that is brushed which actually goes well with the all polished case that the 88 has. I have to admit, I'm really liking this. Now, when I received the ADX, I was like, oh my God, I thought the 88 is the most beautiful wise I've ever had, but the ADX changed my mind. But now that I have them side by side, despite them being pretty similar, somewhat similar, should I say, and having, you can clearly see the same DNA, where the 88 shines, is the thickness. This is a pretty thin watch for an automatic GMT at 12.5, but compared to the 10.5 of the 88 and this vintage inspired boxed sapphire and this thinner bezel, there's just certain elegance on the 88 that the ADX is missing. This is more like to my liking as watch. This is like a bulky modern looking watch whereas this one has a vintage feel and look to it. It is truly spectacular. Wow, anyways, if you own the 88, trust me, it might sound a lot, the $150 or so, it is a worth upgrade. Definitely worth it, especially if you're buying a new 88, you should definitely get the bracelet. It's amazing. And like I said, they do have the on the fly adjustments, so just like the Rolex Submariner, although this one is actually slightly more advanced because here you can tighten it or shorten the bracelet while the watch is on the wrist, whereas on Rolex, any change has to, the watch has to come off wrist so you can lift it and then move it. This one, you only have to lift when you pull it out, whereas closing it uh, in or, or shortening it, you can do it on wrist and look at it. I sometimes forget how beautiful these watches are when I don't wear them. Oh my God, this is a beautiful, beautiful watch. So finally, Wise has upgraded the 88 to finally feature the bracelet that many of you, including me, have asked for. And I have to admit, it doesn't disappoint. It's really well executed, well constructed. It was worth the wait. So I'll leave the link to their webpage in the description. So do check it out. And as usual, stay tuned for the next review. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.